I'm going to be uh, taking some time off to visit uh, friends and family uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks. So this is probably my my, my very last video of 2022. So uh, firstly, I wanted to I wish everyone a um, a wonderful holiday season, whether it's the uh, winter solstice, Yule, Hanukkah, Christmas, or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. So I had a few thoughts about this subject. Uh, in particular, I've seen sort of on the sort of alternative sort of Druidic, pagany kind of um, memes and threads and stuff out on the internet. Uh, very sort of, uh, it's good to be positive, obviously, at this time of year where it's difficult. But at the same time, there's a sort of romanticization about this time of year, um, because in reality, um, it historically has been an incredibly difficult uh, period of of time, because sort of it's the darkest, the darkest era of the human year. Uh, well, of, of the actual year, but I mean, you know, we have our perception of it, of these uh, three days where the sun appears to be at its lowest point, which the, the middle day being the, the actual winter solstice. And this has obviously been of great importance to people all over the world for, um, oh God knows how long, thousands and thousands of years. Um, there's probably sites with regard to the... Uh, the solstices uh, going back far beyond uh, Newgrange or Brunaboyne or uh, Sleenimbroger, uh, Sleenimbroger, uh, which is up in County Me, but it's the most famous place in Ireland. That's probably about roughly uh, four or five thousand years old. But I would think uh, celebrations of this period have been going on a lot longer than that. Um, and the thing is, it, the reason it's important is because you're at a point where you, you really want the sun to come back. You don't want to be in a perpetual winter because it, it's, it's freezing, it's cold, it's dark. And that is a time when a lot of um, animals, a lot of people uh, die, you know, historically. Um, so, I mean, I look at these these messages and you know it's great to have hope but there's also I sense a sort of sac uh, a certain lacking in realism you know it's all very good when you're sat in your lovely warm house and you've got uh, central heating you've got lots of food and you've abundance but this kind of modern celebration of the Christmas period hasn't really been around that long I mean if you look at the Victorians the uh, they kind of created many of the traditions that we have today, some of which are based on older ideas. You know, for instance, the Christmas tree was uh, imported from a Saxony. That's a tradition that uh, I think uh, Prince Albert brought over to, uh, to the UK, and it became popular in other countries too. But I mean, that harks back to some pagan tradition. It's not really got anything to do with Christmas. Um, I mean, they were quite dangerous originally because people used candles, maybe in a little lantern, but, you know, a risk of fire was quite quite high, actually. So I'm sure there must have been plenty of houses that burnt down before they... Um, well, even with the electric lights, early, early Christmas lights were quite dangerous and they would sometimes catch fire and then burn your house down again. But... Um, what I'm getting at really is that people in the past were generally pretty poor. Most people were poor and they couldn't afford to have a Christmas tree or, or waste candles on lighting up the whole house. And celebrations uh, were a lot more more low-key because people didn't have the kind of money to spend on ginormous dinners and endless presents. Um, and again, the, the present giving is a more of a, a modern tradition, really. Um, here it's St. Stephen's Day. Um, and you have some quite different traditions with people going around doing these sort of what's often called some mama's plays where 
you've got this sort of two teams representing the light and the dark and it's sort of traditional to give like small gifts or money or drink to the people and in the UK you've got sort of Boxing Day which you know is a traditional day for, for giving gifts although I think these days most people tend to uh, to do that on Christmas Day but I mean Christmas itself is placed where it is because of the winter solstice and there's many parallels between the idea of Jesus and uh, the character called uh, Mabinos or Anmakan, which is the child of light, which is the re-emergence of sun. And you'll find in early sort of Christianity a lot of influence of Mithra and Sol Invictus, and also from Egyptian religion, you know, the idea of Horus, a lot of parallels there. So uh, it was very deliberately put at the winter solstice, the, you know, the birth time of Jesus. Although it's been suggested by many people who are interested in uh, astronomy that historically this sort of star of Bethlehem would have been in the sky at the, you know, at, at that particular sort of moment of, of birth would be a sort of probably around April. I mean, it's very difficult to prove, but the you know the the replacement at Christmas is is totally arbitrary, um, and it's all to do with the the winter solstice. At least um, that would be makes sense, given that uh, Jesus represents this sort of you know a sudden hope, this birth of of sort of light and positivity and love and holiness which are concepts that were already long established in the past so um, it is a, a very um, important time of year but um, in the past obviously only rich people could give out presents have decorations all that kind of stuff and all the sort of more, more sort of um, fantastical and romantic sort of spiritual ideas that you see touted around they're very much a luxury for for people that have time to to stay home eat loads of food and do nothing so i think in the greatest of span of human history there might have been a pause to reflect on this time of year of the, the greatest darkness and hopes for a transition through the winter and surviving the winter into better times and the re-emergence of of the crops and the plants and everything in in springtime which is what everyone will be waiting for um, but I, I doubt very much for for most people there would have been this orgy of consumerism and buying and overeating and all that goes with it now um, it seems to be uh, this period has mutated over really I suppose the last 200 years that this has really uh, um, happened and reached a crescendo sort of in the current times where uh, spirituality seems to be largely forgotten um, even amongst uh, Christians you see more and more of the sort of Santa uh, character which has lost its roots uh, its origin seem to be largely forgotten and various other sort of more sort of secular images like snowmen etc and less and less of um, Jesus basically which is the whole reason for Christmas is a celebration of Jesus birth and uh, there is um, more and more sort of secularization of these holidays and, and I mean I'm not a Christian myself but I'm aware that this is a particularly significant time of year for for Christians and uh, I'm I find it a bit disturbing to see it dumbed down to the extent that uh, I'd say a lot of children might be um, largely unaware of of what it's all about they just know they're going to get loads of presents and it's you know it's a fun time of year but I, I do think it's important to remember what this time of year is about 
and um, <clears throat> of course the for me the the older meaning of it in relation to the um, the dark time it is a time of reflection a time for pause as much as possible but throughout human society in the past it's been a difficult time generally speaking at the moment it's freezing cold here in Ireland but uh, luckily I'm inside and we have heating and we've got plenty of food we have electricity um, at the moment our water's frozen but normally yeah we'd have running water whenever whenever we like but I, I do think of po uh, people who are who are homeless at this time and there's about 10,000 of them in in this country and uh, I mean we don't really have it that cold compared to other places uh, I can't imagine what it would be like to be homeless in somewhere like Canada or Alaska or Russia or, or Ukraine or so Mongolia these places are really really cold so um, yeah we we get off pretty lightly here in uh, in Ireland compared to some other countries so um, I just thought it was important to uh, to highlight the fact that this this is an important time of year and um, perhaps we shouldn't take it too much for granted because uh, through most of our history it has been a time of hardship for humanity and uh, I'm very grateful to be alive now and to be able to celebrate the solstice and Christmas season in somewhere warm and with plenty of food and not have to worry about whether I'm going to survive the next couple of months um, which in the past must have been quite daunting for for many people and still is for those who are in uh, in great hardship especially in the more northern countries where it really does get cold so anyway that's all I have to say for now and you might spare thought for homeless people I'm putting a link in the description if you want to donate to the Simon community they help to support um, homeless people especially at this time of year trying to get homeless people off the streets and into somewhere decent for Christmas where they can at least get a proper meal and have a bed to sleep in okay thanks for listening and please give a like uh, or even subscribe if you enjoyed what I had to say bye for now